A mysterious glowing red light was seen at an Air Force base that housed nuclear weapons. Following the sighting, the weapons were disabled. Welcome to Something Strange. Malmstrom Air Force Base is located in Montana and traces its beginnings back to 1939. What makes this Air Force Base unique is that it houses Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, also known as ICBMs, and this is also under the control of the Air Force Global Strike Command. The missile has a range of 6,000 plus miles and with a speed of approximately 15,000 miles per hour. It was on this day that guards at the Air Force Base witnessed some kind of hovering object that was red in color and moving at unnatural speeds and distances. What's most important about this case is that there was a captain who was currently there when the incident happened disclosed information regarding what he experienced. He was the on-duty commander of a secret underground launch facility. It was this recent disclosure that raised alarm regarding the UAP incidences. He was stationed 60 feet underground monitoring the launch control center for 10 nuclear missiles when he received a call from a guard above ground. He stated that the object was seen by all guards. At first he didn't pay much attention to the initial report but then he received a second phone call. Robert Salas stated, he calls back about five minutes later and this time he's screaming into the phone. He's very frightened. I could tell by his voice. And he said, sir, I've got all the guards out here. They've got their weapons drawn. We are looking at an orange or reddish pulsating oval shaped object. It's about 30 feet in diameter and just hovering above the front gate. Thinking they were under some kind of attack, Salas said he told the guards to keep it outside the perimeter of the gate. Then, as he alerted the other officers stationed with him underground, he said he noticed that the missile started going offline. Quote, the missile started going into no-go or unlaunchable condition. They were essentially disabled while this object was overhead. He also stated, nobody was injured and I don't consider it an attack but it certainly was a national security incident and something the Air Force said has never happened in their official policy documents. Following these events, the base allegedly took a day to bring the weapons back online and they cannot find any physical damage or explanation for the sudden problem with the missiles and he strongly believes that the Air Force regarding the incident purposely covered it up. Fast forward to May 17, 2022, at a congressional hearing regarding unidentified aerial phenomena, a congressman asked about the incident. It's also been reported uh, that there have been UAP observed uh, and interacting with and flying over sensitive military facilities, particularly not just ranges, but uh, some facilities housing our strategic nuclear forces. Uh, one such incident allegedly occurred uh, uh, at Malmstrom Air Force Base, in which 10 of our nuclear ICBMs were rendered inoperable. At the same time, a glowing red orb was observed overhead. I'm not commenting on the accuracy of this. I'm simply asking you whether you're aware of it and whether you have any comment on the accuracy of that report. Let me pass that to Mr. Bray. The last three years. Uh, that data is not uh, within the holdings of the UAP task force. Okay, but are you aware of the, the report or that the data exists somewhere? Uh, I have uh, I have heard stories. I have not seen the official data on that. So you've just seen informal stories, no official assessment that you've done or exists within DOD that you're aware of uh, regarding the Malmstrom incident? Uh, all I can speak to is, you know, what's within my cognizance of the UAP task force, and we have not looked at that incident. Well, I would say, I mean, it's a pretty high-profile incident. Uh, I, I don't claim to be an expert on this, but that's out there in, in the ether. You're, you're the guys investigating it. I mean, if, who else is doing it? If something was officially brought to our attention, we would look at it. Uh, there are many things that are out there in the ether that aren't officially brought to our attention. So how would it have to be officially brought to your attention? I'm official. bringing it to your attention. Sure, so. <laughs> it's pretty official. Sure. So we'll go back and take a look at it, but generally there is some um, authoritative figure that says there is an incident that occurred, we'd like you to look at this. Uh, but in terms of just tracking what may be in the media that says that something occurred at this time, at this place, uh, there are probably a lot of leads that we would have to follow up on. I don't think we have resources to do that right now. Well, I don't claim to be an authoritative figure, but for what it's worth, I would like you to look in, into it. And sure. If for no other reason you could dismiss it and say this is not worth wasting resources on. Well, um, so what are your thoughts on this unexplained event? Could possibly be secret military aircraft or possible extraterrestrial in origin? Please let me know what you think in the comments below and please like and subscribe for more future content.